Hello everyone, my name is Okwandia and I'm the Solutions Engineer at Electronique. Today I am super excited to be telling you guys about our new Spring 2022 release. In this release, we've introduced many new capabilities and improvements for our managed service providers. Today in this video, I'll be introducing to you the new capabilities and improvements that we've added to our Electronic Studio Pro, our Electronic Orchestrator, as well as the Electronic Portal. So let's go ahead and start with the portal for our first set of new improvement and capabilities. The first thing I want to point out here will be shown inside of the Teams. Inside of the Teams, we've added a new role regarding the billing tab. Inside of the Teams, you'll be able to now set up a billing contact. The billing contact will have access to the billing page, which is also something that has been new and improved, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Inside of the billing tab, this is where you'll be able to find your billing information regarding your subscriptions, your company info, and of course, a billing overview. In this tab, you will be able to see your success manager, as well as your package and add-on information. Inside of the billings page, you'll also have the ability to manage your package, as well as manage any add-ons. You'll also be able to see the view of your complimentary add-ons down below. To manage a package, you would click on the Manage a Package button, and you would go in to specify your subscription. Here is where you can choose your billing option, whether it be quarterly or annually, and choose to upgrade your subscription. Inside of the Company Info tab, this is where you would find the information regarding your legal info, the company ID and region, the account owner. This is the person who will be working within the account, as well as any billing contacts if you have them to be set up with the billing role as well as any admins. The admin is able to manage and access the products as well as the technical settings. Now that we've covered the information regarding the billing page, let's now go cover the next new improvement that I'm gonna be showing today is the support portal. In the support portal, we have created a easy and efficient way for our users to submit a feature proposal, a question, or an issue. In the support portal, you'll be able to see your ticket information regarding your open and closed tickets or to have a all view. To create a ticket, you will click create a ticket here and be able to specify your subject, describe the issue, as well as specify the type and also the product in which this ticket is in reference to, which could be Studio Pro, Bot Runner, or Orchestrator. You will also have the ability to attach a file, if need be, before saving. Now that we've covered the new role, also the new billing page, and the support portal, let's go ahead and jump into another new tool that we've introduced. This is going to be the MSP Toolbox. The MSP Toolbox is an automated lead distribution system. This lead distribution system will allow you the ability to manage your leads and also update and track the current progress during the sales cycle. On the leads page, you'll see your number of unlocked leads for the month, as well as the information of the lead, which would be the ID, the company name, the region in which the lead was generated, the market size of the lead, if that lead is unlocked or locked, as well as the publication date of that lead. If you were to click into the lead, you would find some more information regarding what the lead is looking for. And if you like the lead, it will provide more instructions on how to go ahead and unlock this lead. Inside of the CRM tab, this is where you would have the ability to track and manage the status of leads in which you've unlocked. At the top of the CRM page, you will see how many active leads that you have in total whether that lead be active, won, and also lost. If you go into your active leads and you were to click on the lead that is currently open, you will have the ability to go in to manage the status. It will provide some information regarding the lead itself and also give you the ability to close that lead, whether it be won or lost, and supply some feedback.
in the profiles tab, here's where you will have the ability to go in to manage your settings, as well as your team, and also view your region and your partner name. In the settings at the top, you'll be able to edit your name and password. And for your team, this will give you the ability to invite new members, as well as to view your current team. Now that we've covered the new MSP toolbox, let's go in and cover the new updates and improvements that we have added to Electronique's Orchestrator. Inside of the Electronique Orchestrator, the first change that you will be able to notice right off the bat is that we now have this drop down here. This will give you the ability to add and manage multiple orchestrators under one owner account. For example, if I wanted to manage something inside of my test orchestrator, I would simply click on that test orchestrator inside of the drop down list to switch to that specific orchestrator or back to the production orchestrator. Our next new capability will be found inside of our workflows tab. In our workflows, we've now added the ability to see the latest execution status. So instead of having to sift through the workflow to see what the last execution status was, you'll be able to now see that on the forefront page of the workflows tab. Another new capability that we've introduced into the orchestrator is the ability to copy the ID of a workflow. This ID can be used in reference when you're using the API functionality. If you were to go into your bot runners tab and click on an approved bot runner in which you have below, you'll be able to copy that ID to reference in an API as well. Not only did we add the ability to copy an ID inside of the bot runners tab, but you also now have the availability to see the version in which that bot runner is running on to ensure that it is always current and up to date. Let's go ahead and move into the integrations. For our new improvements inside of the integrations, we have upgraded our Zapier API token capability. You're able to generate an access token directly inside the orchestrator and also view and copy that token. We also provide some excellent documentation to show you how to trigger an electronic bot from Zapier and also the stages of creating and sending a bot. As we know, the Electronics API capability is a key component in our ecosystem. We have introduced new improvements to our API functionality with the ability now to display an error message for any failed bots that were ran through an API. We've also added the ability to place bots inside of a queue so you no longer have to wait for a bot runner to be ready. And we've also added the ability to filter bot runners by name directly in the query. And last but not least, inside of the orchestrator for our new capabilities and improvements, we now have the ability in your settings to change the name of the orchestrator. For example, if I wanted to change the name of the test orchestrator, I could just insert the new name there and the changes will reflect inside of the select dropdown list. Now that we've talked about the new improvements and new capabilities inside of the orchestrator and inside of the electronic portal, let's go ahead and talk about the improvements inside of Electronique Studio Pro. Inside of this platform, we've only added some improvements. The improvements that we've added is a smoother interface for our users, as well as some upgrades to our Chrome browser extension and its activities. And last but not least, we've added some updates to our input activities as well as our email activities in regards to the folder and attachment capabilities and so much more. Now that we've covered the new improvements inside of the Electronique Studio Pro, I would like to now take you guys into the Electronique Learning Space. In the Electronique Learning Space, you will find so many lessons and courses for our managed service providers. In this learning space, we have tons of different sections, such as business growth space. We also have an outlook of who this space is for, such as CEOs, founders, and business leaders. You're able to go in to choose your course, whether it be the Electronics Global and Partnership Program, RPA Technology, which is Evaluation and Top Trends, Launching Your RPA Business, and RPA Business Models.
We also have a section called the IT Leader Tech Space. Now this space is for MSP IT leaders, as well as RPA project managers, and even heads of the IT department. You're able to pick from courses such as the Electronique Platform Overview, how does the Electronique support, as well as hiring your first RPA, and how to launch your first RPA project. And last but not least, the Electronic Automation space is for RPA developers, IT developers, and also, and also RPA engineers. Here's where these Here's where these partners have the ability to explore the Electronic Studio Pro, the Electronic Orchestrator, as well as the Electronic Bot Runner, and take some of the courses regarding the basic level all the way up into advanced level. In these courses, you will be provided with a certificate, so you will have the ability to be acknowledged and recognized for your completion and achievements. Now that we've talked about the electronic learning space, I want to provide you with some more resources that we've introduced, such as the electronic YouTube page. Our YouTube page will provide you with new updates on our webinars, any new releases that we may have, workshop videos, as well as product overviews. This is definitely a good resource. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and you can also hit the notification bell to receive notifications on new release updates. Now that we've covered a little bit inside of our YouTube page, there's also another page that I would like to point out, which is called the Electronique Forum. Here inside the Electronique Forum, this is where you're able to reach out to multiple users and also members of our team regarding any updating news, any RPA automation, any OCR questions, as well as able to ask in multiple languages and even share your user ideas. We definitely recommend that you come and hang out with us in the Electronic Forum. Feel free to drop any of your platform ideas that you would like to see inside of Electronique, or even if you have any general questions about any features and functionalities or activities that we may have to offer. If you haven't had a chance to check out the forum, please do so. You're able to go in and sign up to create an account to get connected with us. The link to the forum will be listed below. And before we end this video, I also want to appoint you to one last resource, and that will be the Electronic Newsroom. That will be able to provide you guys with any updates regarding a current news on the Electronic and any new activities that we may be having, such as any upcoming webinars, any workshops that we've just launched, or any new release information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated on all the current news. Happy automation from Electronique.